go for, is a common verb phrase in English. It has many different meanings. The simple form is go for. The past tense is went for. And the past participle is gone for. Use go for when asking about a price. How much does this go for? It goes for, and then here is the amount. To make the past tense, change the helping verb to did. How much did this, or you can just use it, go for? And the answer in the past tense would be it went for, and then the dollar amount. Do you want to go for a walk? Or I can change this when inviting another person to an activity we can say something like this do you want to go for a run do you want to go for a jog do you want to go for a drive do you want to go for a drive in my car do you want to go for a ride this can be used for a car or a bike or a horse Let's go for a walk. Let's go for a drive. Let's go for a ride. If there's something that you really want, then use the modal verb can and then the verb phrase go for and then the thing that you want. I can go for a cold drink, or I can really go for, and then the thing that you want, I can really go for a pizza. This is the thing that I really want. You can use go for when describing a person's preference, especially in another person. For example, she goes for guys who are athletic. This means that she likes men who are into sports or who are physically fit. He goes for girls who have nice personalities. This means that he likes women or girls who are nice or who are pleasant. When talking about a person who is attending a college or a university, you'll hear this expression used. He's going for a degree in and then whatever this area is. He's going for a degree in finance. He's going for a degree in education. He's going for a degree in biology. What kind of a degree are you going for? This is an expression that uses go for. He's gone for good. This means that a person has died or has left and is not coming back. They're gone for good. This is for more than one person. The people have died or they have left. She wants to start her own business. She should go for it. Or if talking directly to the person who wants to do this, then all you would say is go for it. This is in the form of a command or it's the imperative form. The subject is you.
don't go for that. This means that you should not believe something that another person says or there's a message that is not correct. There's something that is corrupt or that is misleading. I didn't go for it. I didn't go for it or that, meaning that I didn't believe it. I didn't trust it. I didn't think it was true.